Anyone who has ever flown on a medium range airliner with anything like up to 150 other people on board will be astounded to see what happens when these aircraft are configured for VIP use. The Airbus ACJ319 is a classic case in point. This member of the Airbus corporate jet family is based on the 120-seat A319 narrowbody aircraft. One of the big benefits that you would get as a customer is this wider and taller cabin. It's wider and taller than any other business jet around today. What that means is that you not only get more comfort and space, but you can easily move around the aircraft. I flew around with a billionaire a few years ago, about 15 people, family and friends, and his comment during the flight was that it was a very different travel experience, because in the traditional jet that he was used to flying, you tend to take your seat and you stay in it. But with the Airbus ACJ, he could move around the aircraft and socialize with a group here, a group there, very easily. Fundamentally, the A319 is built to earn its living in the hard-working airline environment, where it might fly as many as 3,000 hours per year. But in its VIP role, it's unlikely to log more than around 300 hours. And Airbus believes the ACJ319 offers a value proposition that can hold its own against any purpose-built business jet, while also offering exceptional space inside the cabin. Possibly counterintuitively, it actually has the same operating costs as a traditional business jet. And that's because of the aircraft's airliner heritage. We have something like 10,000 Airbus airliners flying around the world, more than 500 customers and operators. And that means there are a lot of maintenance facilities, a lot of training bases. So an ACJ319, because of its lower maintenance costs, because of its lower training costs, can actually be similar operating costs to a top-of-the-line traditional business jet. And one more thing, when you buy the aircraft, it will hold its value better. A traditional business jet might depreciate at more than 6% a year. An Airbus corporate jet, you'd be looking at something a lot less, maybe 3% a year. So it's an investment to uh, give you a great ride, the best experience in the sky, but also a good investment that will hold its value over time. Boeing offers comparable space and range with the Boeing business jet versions of its 737 airliner family. Prices for these so-called Bizliner VIP aircraft can vary very significantly, depending on how lavishly the cabin interior is fitted out and equipped. Boeing and Airbus deliver the aircraft without any interior fittings. These are designed and installed by specialist completions companies. In general, you can probably own a private aircraft fit for a king for around $100 million. Comfort becomes more important the longer the flight, and we offer the best comfort. So whether you're a customer that's a private customer looking to fly family, friends and colleagues, whether you're a company that wants to fly on business, or whether you're a government, you can get intercontinental range and the interior can be customized to your needs. So this particular aircraft is operated by Comlux on VVIP charters. It's laid out as it would be for a private customer and that means typically the private room is at the back. A government, on the other hand, would want to have the private room at the front because typically the head of state would get off the aircraft at the front and get back on the aircraft at the front and they don't want to have to walk past everybody else to get to their space. Either way, because we've got the wider and taller cabin, we can give you a very wide private space at the back and if you want your private room at the front, let's say an office that converts to a bedroom, you can have a good sized bedroom because of that wider cabin and a proper corridor alongside. And some customers, for example, in the Middle East, they might want their private area in the middle, private room in the middle that converts to a bedroom. And again, the wider cabin allows you to do that too. 